Hello everyone, welcome back to the chemical engineering channel and as you know that we are following the heat transfer operation modules these days and in this regard we are bringing the lecture number 7. So if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. So in today's course proceedings, we will be discussing the heat exchangers. We will be discussing what are the heat exchangers, why they are used, their applicability, the flow arrangements in the heat exchangers and we will be starting the type of heat exchanger and we will be discussing one type of heat exchanger today and then in the upcoming lecture we will be discussing the remaining types of heat exchangers so what are the heat exchangers these are basically the devices or the equipment which ensures that without mixing the fluids they can transfer heat between themselves because of the temperature difference as we have seen in our previous lectures that the heat is transferred due to the temperature difference. If you remember the example of a coffee which was warm and after some time it cooled down because of heat transfer from the coffee to the surroundings or the room. Similarly, if you take the opposite example of a chilled can which is placed in a room, it gets warmed or its temperature is increased because of the temperature difference between the surroundings and the system which we have proposed. So the heat exchangers are equipment devices which facilitates exchange of heat between the two fluids which are at different temperatures while keeping them from mixing with each other. In these two fluids, one of them is called as a hot fluid and the other one is called as a cold fluid. The hot fluid is dead fluid which is at considerably higher temperature and loses heat during the heat exchange process and its temperature is lowered down or if I say that the temperature for this initial is T1 and the final is T2 then T1 is greater than T2 or T2 is less than T1. On the other hand for cold fluid the temperature will increase because of the heat exchange like if the initial temperature is T3 final temperature is T4 then T3 is less than T4 or T4 is greater than T3. So this is how the heat exchangers work. They are commonly used in practice in a wide range of applications from heating and air conditioning system. Our air conditioning system is the best example. Heating system is the best example in a household to chemical processing and power production in large parts like used as a condenser at the downstream of steam turbine, boiler or different types of equipments like cooling towers and so on. In heat exchangers, the heat exchange usually involves both the phenomena of convection and conduction which we have discussed in detail in our previous lectures. The convection takes place in each fluid because of the heat transfer or heat loss and heat gain and conduction through the walls separating the two fluids. So this is overall description of the heat exchanger but once we get through these lectures of heat exchanges we will be discussing these more in detail. Now, if we talk about the various flow arrangements in heat exchangers, there are commonly known three flow rates arrangement. Number one is the parallel flow arrangement. Now, if you see in the parallel flow arrangement, this is a one fluid entrance. This is the second fluid entrance. Let's suppose this is a hot fluid and this one is the cold fluid. The cold fluid is passing through this tube. The hot flowing is passing through this annulus. Now, in the parallel flow arrangement, both hot side and cold side begins from the same side, like they enter from the same side. In this case, usually the heat transfer rate is low. However, these all aspects are considered while we are deciding which type of flow arrangement to be chosen. Co-current is or parallel flow is least chosen system. And as you can see, this is the inlet for one fluid, which is hot fluid for example and this is a cold fluid and again the entrance point is same or the from the same side and exit is from the same side. On the other hand in the counter flow arrangement it's a bit different like if we say that the cold fluid is passing through this tube side then this hot fluid the direction will be the opposite. Now in the previous case both will be entering from the same side and leaving from the same side while in that case they are entering from the opposite side like if we take it as one and if we take it as two, cold fluid is entering from side one, hot fluid is entering from side two. Cold fluid is leaving from side two, hot fluid is leaving from side one. 
so these are the opposite systems and preferably counter current flow rate arrangement is used in the industry third one is the cross flow arrangement as you can see again it is passing through here the cold fluid and the hot fluid is crossing here like it's a cross type arrangement so these are the three types of arrangement co current or parallel flow counter current and cross flow which are commonly used for heat exchangers and we will be discussing all of these one by one for various types of heat exchanger now coming to the types of heat exchanger the one the first type which we will be discussing today is double pipe heat exchanger and if we talk about it double pipe heat exchanger as you can see this is the hot fluid which is entering in this small tube and its temperature is th in and the outlet temperature is th out the cold side or the cold fluid is entering from here tc in and leaving from here tc out so this is basically the counter arrangement as i have told you that the co current arrangement is very rarely used because of various disadvantages as we can also see in the upcoming slide as well so one fluid in the double pipe heat exchanger follows through the smaller pipe as you can see while the other fluid flows through the annular space between the two pipes so this is how flow rate arrangements take place in the double pipe heat exchanger and again if we talk about the temperature profile for the co current and counter current system then you can see that if this is a t1 temperature for hot fluid and this is the t2 temperature for hot fluid then you can see for the temperature profile of hot fluid the temperature is decreasing and contrary to the cold fluid if this temperature is t3 and this temperature is t4 then the temperature is increasing for the cold fluid however if you see from the both junction points here the temperature difference is very high while here the temperature difference is very low however if you go here which is the counter current arrangement you can see this one t1 to t2 this one is t3 to t4 now you can see that abrupt increase or decrease in the temperature or the delta t temperature difference is avoided in this counter current arrangement and also if we talk about an important parameter which is lmtd log mean temperature difference the lmtd for co current arrangement is smaller while that of the counter current arrangement is higher and once the counter current arrangement is higher it means that the surface area required to achieve the process or to go through the process is lower while that of the co current this area will be higher so this is why the co current arrangement is not suitable and the counter current arrangement is followed in the heat exchanger arrangement cross flow is debatable in some occasions cross flow is better than counter current but mostly counter current arrangement is used in the heat exchangers so that's it from this lecture thank you so much please do watch like share the video and subscribe to the channel also click on bell icon to get all updates related to this channel till then it's goodbye stay tuned